Insulin is a hormone that moves glucose from the blood into the other cells of the body, where it is needed for energy. People with diabetes either don't produce any insulin, don't produce enough insulin, or their cells are resistant to insulin. As a result, all people with type 1 diabetes and many people with type 2 diabetes need to take insulin by injection or pump. There are different kinds of insulin that are used to treat diabetes. Some are designed to be fast-acting, others to have a long-lasting effect. Individuals differ in the type of insulin they use and the devices they use to administer insulin. There are a number of different regimens that are commonly prescribed. Fast-acting insulin starts to work to lower blood glucose levels within 10 to 15 minutes. Chances are, if you ever have to help a student take insulin, it will often be the fast-acting kind. Insulin is given to cover food, and also when blood glucose is too high. Insulin in the school setting is given according to the order in the Student Diabetes Medical Management Plan. Students who take fast-acting insulin will need to take it before meals and snacks. Food drives blood glucose up. Insulin pushes it down. So many students take insulin about 10 minutes before eating, and some students may wait until after they eat. When insulin is taken, will be spelled out in the student's diabetes medical management plan. The fast-acting insulin starts to work just as the student has the meal or snack. It all balances out, as long as it's timed right and the dosage is given as spelled out in the student's diabetes medical management plan. Also, the dosage can be easily calculated based upon the student's insulin to carbohydrate ratio and correction dosage. If the student takes the insulin but waits too long to eat, the blood glucose can drop too far down, and that can mean trouble. Students need different amounts of help. Some students may need to be reminded to take their insulin. Some students will be able to give themselves insulin. Others will need supervision, and younger or less experienced students will need a school nurse or other trained school staff member to administer insulin for them. School staff who help with insulin administration may also need to make sure that the student has something to eat within a very few minutes afterward. Students who are able to self-administer usually carry their insulin in a backpack or purse. Students who need help usually will keep their insulin in the clinic or other accessible location. Some students prefer to refrigerate insulin. Others store it at room temperature. Open vials should be discarded after 30 days. There are several insulin delivery devices that are covered in this video. Syringe, insulin pen, and insulin pump. Insulin may only be given by injection and cannot be taken orally.